Hello and welcome back or if you're new to my channel welcome to my craft table. Today I have the August Spellbinders card kit of the month on my desk. I'm going to create 10 cards with this fabulous kit. This one is called Art School. You can probably guess what it's going to include but I'm going to quickly walk you through the card kit box before we get started on our projects. Here's the contents page. It also gives you some fun, crafty inspiration for your card making. Here's your 10 card bases and 10 envelopes, as well as your adhesives. You get foam adhesive and double-sided adhesive. This time you get some cute red sequins. Some are matte and some are sparkly. This is the set of dies. Let me open this up. I was so excited to see these. They are just adorable. I'll put it on my Spellbinders magnet so that I don't lose any of them, but look at that cute art palette or paint palette. You get some brushes. It also includes the cutest tube of paint dye, and then some flowers, and then pieces that will layer on top of these dies. Lots of little details to this die set. I create several cards using this in today's video. Next, let me show you the stamp set. I love all of the sentiments. You can use these year round. And look at that cute easel. <laughs> I used that several times as well. But it's just fabulous. You get three packs of stickers this time, some smaller puffy stickers. These are some chipboard stickers, double sided. And this is a pack of sentiment puffy stickers. I love those big bold sentiments or words. <laughs> Here's your die cut shapes and pattern paper. I'll flip through this pattern paper for you. You get two of each and they are single sided and it's a lightweight paper perfect for layering. And then a lot of them have this gold foiled detail on them. They're just pretty. But these were fun. They're going to be great for back to school cards or just cards to send to your crafty friends. Lots of different designs. I love those pencils there. <laughs> the card stock, you get a whole rainbow of colors. You get light blue, white, pink, yellow, orange, red. You get a navy blue, a gold foil sheet, and a green. I think the only color that's missing is the purple. So let's get into card number one. This is always what I call my warm up card. I'm just using some ephemera pieces and pattern paper to put this one together. It's super easy. So I put my navy card stock down first and then my gold metallic paper next. And I'm putting it on kind of askew. And look at this pretty pattern paper with the rainbow. I'll use some more dot liner behind this and attach this to the card kind of at an angle as well. I pulled out several ephemera pieces for this card. This is a little fish-tailed tag. I'm just going to adhere this down flat. And then a cute little paper clip. I'll add some liquid glue behind this just to ensure that it stays on so little. The sentiment on this card says, never grow up. And I'm going to pop it up with some foam strips. And I'll just put this at the bottom of the card. And then I found these two cute little girls <laughs> I'm going to put on top of the sentiment and a butterfly. The girls I'll glue down flat. It looks like they're dancing. It's just cute. And then the butterfly I am going to pop up with some of the foam squares from the kit. I'm also pulling in some fashion gold embellishments to match with the gold metallic paper. I just got these from the shop and I love these. I have them in silver as well. But the gold just makes this card sparkle that much more. I'm just going to put three of these around the card. And that's it for card number one, the warm-up card. Here's a close-up look. 
but it's just fun. It's a great card for a kid or an adult. Card number two is going to be a collage card. And I pulled out a lot of ephemera pieces that has to do with back to school. I'm going to start out with my pattern paper, of course, and then I cut out a piece of yellow cardstock with the hem stitched die. Now I can start adding all of these cute little pieces. The sentiment just says, have fun. And then I'm going to glue most of these ephemera pieces down flat. Look at that cute palette and paintbrush. And then the school bus will go at the bottom. I'm using the Barely Arts Precision Glue. I love this stuff. The backpack I decided to pop up just to give the card some dimension. Now for the notebook. And then the pencil. I pretty much cover up the yellow cardstock, but I just like that pop of yellow behind these pieces. I'm going to pop up the happy face as well with some of the foam squares. I can't believe that summer is almost over. I went school shopping today with my son to pick up some school supplies for him, and that was fun. Just a few more weeks till they have to go back. So let's attach this at the top of the card. From the sequin pack, I'm pulling out some of the matte red sequins. I like those better than the sparkly ones for these cards. And then I thought it needed something more, so I'm using some Fun Stampers Journey black and white twine. I'm going to tie a bow at the top left of this card. I just purchased this twine from the store as well, and it's a nice thick twine. So here's my little bow. I'll trim off the ends. And here's a close-up look at card number two. On to card number three. I'm going to use the easel stamp. And I'm just going to pull it out and put it on an acrylic block and stamp it up or ink it up actually with some VersaFine Onyx black ink. This is a nice, thick, dark ink. You usually only have to stamp it once. Otherwise, I would put it in my mini Misty and stamp it. With these stamps, you want to be careful not to press too hard. But I'm just putting an even pressure over the acrylic block. And I do stamp out just a few more in case I want to use them on other card projects. And now for this cute, sketchy looking heart. I'm going to stamp it up with some Distress Oxide ink. This is called Candied Apple. And I'll put that right in the middle of the easel, or the canvas on the easel. <laughs> Sorry, my head gets in the way. I didn't stamp it properly, so I have to look through it, stamp it up one more time just to get that edge stamped out. I'm going to fussy cut that out in just a minute. Next, I'm prepping a piece of pattern paper. I love this spotted piece of paper. And I'm using some Spun Sugar Distress Oxide ink just to add a little bit of color to it. I decided to bring in some Kitsch Flamingo just to darken the color. This turns out to be a clean and very simple card. Let's put the inks away. And now I can start building my layers of cardstock and pattern paper. My first layer is the pink cardstock, and it's a little bit smaller than my card base. I like having the white show through. And then the spotted pattern paper will go next, and it's again a little bit smaller than the pink. I'll put that aside for a minute and stamp out my sentiment. And I love this sentiment. It says, you are a work of heart. It's so cute. Sorry, my head gets in the way there. I'm just trying to line it up to the edge of the paper so that I only have to trim out one edge with my paper trimmer. And now I can stamp out Work of Heart, and it has such a cute font to it. 
And again, don't press down too hard, but kind of rock it gently to get all of the edges to stamp out. I'm going to trim this down now, and then I'm going to cut it into a fishtail. So I cut a slant up the middle, and now I'm meeting the edges to the top of the slant. I'm going to pull in some more of this black and white baker's twine. I'll wrap it around the edge of this white cardstock and then tie a little bow. I end up taping the sentiment down to my work mat just to hold it in place while I tie the bow. And here it is. Now I can trim off the edges, but isn't that cute just around the sentiment? I'll pop this up with some foam adhesive from my stash. I'm just putting it on either side of the baker's twine so there's not a bulge in the sentiment. Then I'll put this at the bottom of the card. I'll pop up the easel as well with more foam. It's hard getting that on straight, but I'm just eyeballing it. I guess I could use a, a T ruler. Now for the easel and then a few red sequins and that's all there is to this card. Just simple, but I think it's really pretty. On to the next card. Now we're going to use the dies from the kit. These were so much fun to play with. I went ahead and cut out all of my dies and you can see them there in the little heart trays. So I'll start with the paint tubes. I cut out one for each color of the rainbow. I had to pull in some purple cardstock from my stash for the purple one, but let me show you just a quick look at how to put these together. So I cut out the caps with some of the metallic gold cardstock, and I'll put that on first. And I'm just using more of the precision glue for this. It does help to have a wax stick or a pickup tool of some kind to do this. Let's put the lid on. And then we'll start with the pink. The little heart goes at the bottom and you can put another gold heart in there or whatever color you'd like, but I decided just to leave it white. And then this piece goes up at the top. And that's all there is to it, but isn't that just adorable? Okay, let's move on with the red. I am going to speed this up. I left it in just because it's so fun <laughs> to watch in fast motion. Let's do the red next. And I think it would be really cute to add some dimension to these paint tubes by cutting out either several layers of the, the add-on pieces or putting foam adhesive behind them. But I didn't think of that while I was doing this. I'm just gluing everything down flat. I like to die cut everything out at once, and it can take some time, especially with these little pieces. But it's fun to do when you're listening to something or you have a TV program going on in the background or music. And here's the green. I love these colors that they included in the kit. And here is the very light blue. And then, of course, the purple I just pulled from my stash. And it's just a pale purple, just to kind of coordinate with the light blue. And I don't end up using all of these little tubes for this card that I'm creating, but I saved them for another project. Next, let's put the paintbrushes together. And I don't end up using these two paint brushes. I cut them out again with the coordinating colors. I think I did a pink one and a yellow one. And then it looks like you have pink paint on the tip of your brush instead of blue. <laughs> but you'll see them here in just a minute. And then I used more of the gold for the handles on the paintbrush. The paint palette I'm going to double up. So I'll glue the white piece on top of this yellow piece just to add a little bit of dimension to it. 
And then I'm going to put some double-sided adhesive on the back so I can pop the colors back in, or the little heart pieces. And this will just hold them tightly in place. Now I can flip that over. I do put in the yellow bits first, so there's two layers on the hearts. Sorry about that, someone was at my door. And then I'm going to pop in all of the colorful bits. And this piece right here, I end up popping out completely because I forgot that was the thumb hole. Goodness, it's busy around here today. Now some more text messages on my phone. But I'm going to put one of each rainbow color on this palette. I love that these paint dollops are in the shape of a heart. And they're all slightly different, but they're not hard to figure out which one goes where. Each shape is kind of distinctive. But that was fun to do. Now let's put together some flowers. Isn't that cute? And these have some etched details on them as well. Hard to show that in the video. The centers of these are going to be gold foil paper. And then I cut out a bunch of leaves. I'll just put the glue on the leaf and then pick up the flower. I found that to be the easiest way for me. This is going to be a mini slimline card. And I cut out a piece of the yellow cardstock and I'm attaching a piece of pattern paper to this. I cut it out using one of the scallop dies from last month's large die of the month. I keep this one on my desk just because it's so awesome and I know I'm going to be using it a lot. Let's put the paint brushes on the palette. And I did pop up the palette with some foam adhesive. I'll just peel off the release paper. And this is going to be centered in the middle of my card. And you can see how cute the paint brushes look with uh, the colored cardstock instead of the navy blue. And now for the paint tubes, I'm going to put two at the left. And I'll just glue those down, kind of overlapping, like so. Isn't that just adorable? I'll attach this little small blue flower at the top corner, just down flat. This is kind of a busy card. There's a lot going on, but I love how it turns out. Now let's glue down the orange paint tube. I stamped out the sentiment and it says, have a colorful day. And I cut it out with my scissors and I'm just going to pop that up at the top corner of the card. And then I have a bunch of flowers down in the bottom right hand corner. And I really have a lot of die cuts left over but I will definitely be saving these. And then I do use some on the inside of this card. In just a minute, you'll see. So let's attach this with a more liquid adhesive onto a white card base. And this card measures out to be six and a half by three and a half. But it has a nice white border around this as well. And here's a close up look. Isn't that just fun? There's a peek at the inside. I used more of the patterned paper as well. And now on to the next card. This one turns out to be my favorite. I'm using a piece of oatmeal cookie cardstock from Spellbinders. This is a nice pale um, craft cardstock, and I use it a lot. They also have a nice cardstock, a craft cardstock called, sorry, I can't talk today called Portobello. It's a little bit darker and that's lovely too. But I'm doing one of my favorite techniques. I'm going to do some pattern stamping. And the star of the show is going to be this easel again. I'm using more VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I'm going to stamp out this easel all across this panel. When I'm done, this panel will measure just a little bit smaller than the white card base that comes with the kit. But I'm flipping my acrylic block so that it is in all directions when I stamp it. 
And this is a really fun technique to do. I could do this for every single card. <laughs> Now I can stamp out some of the smaller stamps. I'm going to go for the paint tube next. And just start filling in these open gaps between the easels. The next stamp I'm going to be using is the pair of scissors. Let's pull that one off. There's even a scissors pattern paper in the pack and that's really cute too. I end up using that one in just a minute. <laughs> Let's stamp out the scissors. There's even a strawberry in this stamp set. It has absolutely nothing to do with art but I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to use that. I just have a teeny tiny acrylic block. So next I'm going to stamp out something in every single one of these easels. Most of them are going to be sentiments. The one I just stamped is going to be my main sentiment, and it says, you are creative and kind. There are lots of things you can stamp in these easels. I love this sentiment that I'm stamping now. It says, it's a make stuff and be happy kind of day. I'll stamp the rainbow up at the top, and it kind of goes off the paper, but that's okay. Now for the heart, and then my last one is going to say, you inspire me, but again, it goes off the side of the panel. But I just wanted to have something in each of the easels. So this card kind of morphed into something that I hadn't planned on, as you'll see here in just a moment. But I'm going to pull out some colored pencils and just add a little bit of color to this panel. I colored in my main easel with a white colored pencil and now I'm carefully trying to re-stamp it with the help of some acetate to do a little bit of pre-stamping to make sure my lines lined up. And so here it is and I just love how it looks. But I ended up smearing it and so I had to come up with a plan B. But isn't that cute? So I had to stamp out an easel with some white cardstock and fussy cut it out. I even pulled out my pen knife to get in between the little rectangles on the easel. But let me show you how I put this together. I'm using a piece of the purple patterned paper onto the card base first, and then my main panel. But I didn't want to redo this because I loved how it turned out. And there seems to be always something you can do to fix your oopsies. <laughs> So the easel I'm popping up with some foam adhesive. This is going to go right over the stamped one. And then I decide to bring in some of the floral images. And here's the finished product. I also put some of the essential gems on this card. And I love how it turned out. It's so pretty. Up next is another very simple card. I cut a circle from the white cardstock with a Spellbinders die. And I'm going to first put down this piece of scissors pattern paper. Here it is. It's so adorable. Let's add a little bit of dot liner to this and attach it to the white card base. And again, the white card base is going to be peeking out from the sides, just very slightly. I pulled out a bunch more of the ephemera, and they're all the crafty, fun crafty ones. So let's put, I put the circle down with a little bit of dot liner, but I end up pulling that up in just a minute. But the sentiment says, so much fun. And here's where I add foam adhesive behind the white circle. The sentiment is really cute. It says, this is where the fun stuff happens. And I love the little washi tape at the corners, but I wanted to accentuate that. So I'm going to use the Spellbinders Best Ever craft tape and just cut out thin slivers to go over the washi tape. This makes it a little more 3D as well. Look how cute that looks. I'll put one at each corner. And then I can start adding all of the cute artsy ephemera pieces at the side of this sentiment. 
So I'm going to add a few more things to this little cup of art tools. I'll add a paintbrush as well as a pencil on the other side. I love that little mug with the art supplies in it. But you get so many cute art supply ephemera pieces this month. Now I'm just going to glue this down flat next to the sentiment. Trying not to cover up any of the letters. And then of course I had to use the scissors to match the scissors on the pattern paper, so we'll put those down next. And then here are a few rolls of washi tape. I'll put this down behind the blades of the scissors. Fortunately the glue was still wet, so I was able to tuck that underneath. And here's a close-up look. I did end up decorating the inside of the card. And here's a look at that, just in the corner. But decorating the inside of your card gives it just another fun touch. I love it. Okay, this one is a super involved card, but it's another one of my favorites. I'm using all of the paint palettes that I used to cut out the hearts for my previous card. I didn't want these to go to waste. And I'm going to glue them down onto this piece of the dotted pattern paper. I'm going to try to represent each color of the rainbow on this pattern paper. And the red one was just a, a tight fit, but I wanted to get that on there. I thought about peeling up the green one or the purple one, but I knew I would rip my paper. I'm going to use my long sharp scissors to cut off the overhang. I do this off camera because I had to go really slow because I didn't want to cut into the pattern paper. Let me clear off my mat and now I'm going to glue in all of the hearts or the paint splotches. And this did take a while but it was worth it. I love how this card turns out. It's so much fun. I just put a little dot of glue down first and then press the heart in place. And again, it's not too hard to figure out which heart goes where because they're all just a little bit distinctive. Let's stamp out the sentiment with some Versamark ink. This is a piece of charcoal cardstock from Spellbinders Essential Cardstocks. I just wanted something dark for this card. I poured over some white embossing powder and now I can quickly melt that. I'll cut it out with a fishtail die. I have had this on my desk for a long time. I got it in one of Spellbinder's previous kits and I use it a lot. Now let's put this card together. Everything's going to go down flat. Except for the sentiment which I popped up with some foam strips. I'm using my tweezers just to get my hand out of the way so I can put this down even. And then I add some more of the silver essential gems around this panel and here's a close-up look. Okay, let's put together another simple, easy, but very pretty card. I'll use this blue piece of pattern paper on the card base. I found this cute frame in the ephemera pieces and I wanted to use this. It looks like a Polaroid frame. I'll put this in the top corner. And then I love the look of these ephemera flowers. So I'm going to be using those. But first the sentiment, it says smile, sparkle, shine. And I popped it up with some foam adhesive and the flowers are all going to be popped up as well. I'm just going to frame the sentiment with these flowers. I even put uh, little strips of foam adhesive behind the leaves. Here's a chipboard sticker and I like to add glue behind them because they do fall off if you don't add a little bit of extra adhesive. And I used some more of the crystal gems this time around the panel. Here's a peek at the inside. I just love the corner look <laughs> lately. I just use a little bit of pattern paper in the corner. My next card is another fast and easy one. I'm putting down some more purple pattern paper on the card base and I'm using a strip of navy, navy blue cardstock next. I cut out a couple more circles from one from the blue cardstock and one from the floral pattern paper. 
and I'll layer those together. I'll pop this up with some foam adhesive. And I'm going to use one of the Word stickers from this kit. And this one just says friend. But I loved the bright yellow color of this one. I'll just center that on my circle. There we go. And then I'll pull the little dot for the eye. And make sure to put that down next. I use my all in one tool to do this. And then I'm going to use several of the hearts from this sticker pack around this panel. I love these little puffy hearts. And because I use the hearts, I don't use any gems on this card or any sequins. This was just enough. I'll adjust these hearts just a little bit. But they match perfectly with the pattern paper. It's so much fun to work with a well-coordinated card kit. Here's a close-up look. Just an all occasion card that you can send out in the mail anytime. For my next card, I, it's another detailed one, but I love how this one turned out. One of my favorite stamps is this little sketchy looking heart. And I'm going to stamp this out several times on some white cardstock using some Distress Oxide inks. This first one is Worn Lipstick and then Tattered Rose, and they're all colors of pinks and reds. Next is, oh, I think this is Festive Berries. And then some Kitsch Flamingo. Or no, that's Picked Raspberry, sorry. <laughs> Picked Raspberry. Now let's put this card together. I allowed the Distress Oxide ink to dry, and then I fussy cut them out. I'm using some pattern paper and a piece of the navy cardstock. I'm popping up all of my hearts with foam adhesive. And I put the side hearts on first. It's just easier to line them up that way. And then you can center the middle heart between the two. I like the navy background because it really makes the hearts pop. And I'll do this with all of the hearts. Just quickly line them up. I did, of course, speed this up for you. <laughs> and then the sentiment is really fun. It says, love who you are. And I thought it just went perfectly with all of these hearts. The sentiment is an ephemera piece. And it is not perfectly rectangular. But I did cut out a rectangle from the gold cardstock, and I'm going to adhere the sentiment onto the gold piece. And it looks a little wonky, but that's okay. The hearts look wonky too. <laughs> and then I'm going to use some liquid adhesive just to glue this in place. Just putting glue down where I think the sentiment is going to be. And then I can just rub off the excess. And here's a close-up look. I used some more of the crystal gems on this panel. And I decorated the inside with more pattern paper and ephemera shapes. Well, this was a really fun card kit to create with. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some crafty inspiration. I'll have pictures of all of the cards over at my blog. The link will be listed in the description box below as well as all of the links to the supplies that I use to create these cards. Have a wonderful crafty day, my friends. Bye.